I've been able to make $30,000 in 3 months with Shopify dropshipping as a complete beginner. In this video I'm going to show you how you can also have success with Shopify dropshipping. I'm going to go through all the necessary details from how I find my winning product, how I design a high converting online store, how I run my ads and what supplier I use for my fulfillment. I'm going to run you through step by step and show you everything you need to know to get started and have success with dropshipping. I'm sure that no other dropshipping YouTuber guru whatsoever is going to give you all this valuable information in just 20 minutes. So as you can see I've been able to make $28,000 plus in just under 3 months. I have a conversion rate of around 5.5%. This number isn't accurate. If you calculate the online store sessions with the orders, you're going to get around 5.5%. As you can see, I've been able to scale up to 1k days, even 2k plus days. So first I'm going to show you how I found my winning product. And how I found my winning product is by finding this um, very recent trend of girls showing off their like silky hair. There's many videos that exceed a million likes. And I thought which product could you promote with this trend? So I came to the conclusion to promote a split end trimmer. As you will see just in a second, people are complaining about their split ends in the comments. So I came to the conclusion to sell this product in combination with this trend. I have another really good method of finding a winning product, but I'm going to do a video on this separately. So as you can see here, she's showing off her hair. She, for example, does have like these split ends or this the kisses of the sun um, it was sweet, I like I let it in my that, um, How do I get rid of the split ends that I have? Now I'm going to show you how I build a high converting um, dropshipping store. I'm going to go through this very quickly because I just want to give you all the information you need and then you can stop by yourself and recreate a, a similar looking website with a product of your choice. So first you're going to sign up on Shopify.com you preferably want to make a separate Chrome browser for your store and register on Google with it and it's going to be creating your account. Once we're in here we're getting a free trial so we have about three days to build our store for free essentially. So I'm just putting in the currency in a time zone and then I'm going to go to shipping and delivery and just set this all up. I'm going to put a standard shipping and a priority shipping just for that extra boost in uh, the average order value. You want to save everything and then you want to activate the international market for the US. Next we're going to add all the policy pages, make sure to read through them and edit them. US is what I typically go for. Now I'm going to show you how I design my um, pictures, which is really important. You want a website that looks really professional and has a color scheme that matches uh, throughout the whole website. So as you can see here I have my branding with the two main colors and the third color is just white. And you can see that I branded everything with um, the color and have like my own branding in the corner just to make it seem more legit. Then I have a before and after which is really effective. Then I have a tutorial on how to use it because of course you want to reply to all the questions the buyer may have, the potential customer may have in advance so they don't end up clicking off the website because they don't have their questions answered. What I like to do too is just add a review in the product pictures just so the reviews are more scattered around the whole website. Here's an example of a description that you can imitate. It's really important to keep the descriptions very short and add some visual GIFs um, nobody wants to read like paragraphs of paragraphs of text, so keep it very short and concise and uh, really try to be able to speak the customer's language. For example, like for this product, you can say like silky hair or Slavic hair. Those are all like key words that really speak the customer's language. We're going to save that. And right after that, we're going to add our first app, which is one to free track. Um, just to make your customers be able to track their orders within your website without any Chinese branding. You want to activate dropshipping mode. And 
and then copy the link. Then you want to go to navigation and edit your footer menu and main menu. We're going to delete search, that's unnecessary, and add all your policy pages and the contact page. When that's all done, you're going to save it and we're going to edit the main menu. We're going to delete home, catalog, we don't need that. We only need the product page, that's what's most important. Then we're going to add the link of track 123. So we're going to add the page of um, the order tracking um, site. Then we're going to add our product that we just added to our Shopify store. And then we're going to add the sense theme and publish that. Now we're going to customize this theme. We're going to delete some things. Just delete what I'm, I'm deleting. Delete the price because we're going to add our own app, Quantity Break Bundle app, with a price. Then we can customize the website to our liking. And make sure to keep those uh, free colors throughout the website and balance them out. Then we're going to add the footer menu that we just created. We're going to delete that, we don't need that. Then we're going to add text. Some key points. Uh, the three most important key points. Now you can see we already have the bundle app installed because I re-recorded that, forgot to put that in. but. You can see that I put three key points with each an emoji. The next app we're going to install is White Bundle. This is just to increase our average order value and just also increase our conversion. We're going to install the app, add an offer, select the product, and then we can basically just customize this to our liking, add the price, we can compare to another price, you can see how I did it here. And we're going to generate the offers. Now we're going to edit the app. You can make it say order now because add to cart doesn't really make sense for a one product store in my opinion. And uh, then we're just going to edit all the color schemes, make it match the whole website and make sure to really make that order now button large. The bigger the button, the more likely it's going to be pressed. And then we're just going to edit the heading, which can say something like sale ends today or Halloween sale ends soon or something like that. Then we're going to go into settings and make it open the side card, which we're going to add uh, right now. We're going to use an app called UpCard. You can also use um, Monster Card or any other side card app you want. This is just to improve the conversion of the store. What we're going to do is enable the app. We can enable White Bundle 2 at the same time. Then we're going to add an announcement just to add the urgency of a timer, like 4 minutes and something. Adjust the colors so it fits the whole scheme. You can also add a reward system if you want to, edit that to your liking. And really important, add the payment options just to uh, reduce the friction of going through multiple steps if they want to pay with PayPal, Apple Pay or Shop Pay. We're going to save that. And now we can add shipping protection, which is just going to increase our average order value. After that, we can edit the picture of the shipping protection just to make it fit in more with the whole website scheme. Next, we're going to add a trust badge app, which is optional, but I think helps with the conversion. We can install one for free. The trust badge is bare. The next app we're going to add is um, SEO and Sticky Add to Cart. I like the one from SEO and because they have a really nice um, sticky add to cart bar which can also appear after a specific amount of distance you scroll on the site.
you can start for free but after you get some sales you're gonna pay eight dollars a month I believe now we're gonna customize for mobile put in all our color schemes make sure to um, adjust the mobile Z index just do it like I am doing right now um, just so it doesn't overlap with the upcart app I made it really simple for this product because there's no variations so I just kept it to the add to cart but if you have some variations if you're selling like clothes you want to add like sizes or colors or both we're gonna save that and the next app we're gonna add which is really important is a review app now I use the one from Luke's because it has like a referral program and that's really good I'm gonna start with the 14 day trial of 40 a month which gives me the possibility to edit the reviews now here um, we're setting up the referral program we're gonna add looks to our theme just save it and now we can import reviews from Aliexpress but you can also edit uh, ones on a Google Sheets now back to our product, we're just gonna copy the product handle. I'm just gonna make it a bit shorter. We're gonna copy that, uh, which is really important, so looks can add to the reviews to that product. Now we can see I made the reviews with some pictures. I'm gonna save them as a CSV and upload the template file. When that's done, we can add it to our theme. And as you can see, there's a lot of pictures. It's important to have a lot of product images just to gain trust with the customer. We're gonna save that. And next we can make our TikTok account where we can post our first few videos we're gonna edit. We're gonna sign up with the Google account you already using for Shopify just to keep things simple um, add your username and then you're already all set now we can go on ads.tiktok.com and sign up with our TikTok account and make an ads account we're going to authorize the connection and fill out all the information. When, st when that's done, we're going to accept, select where we live in the US, we're going to add the TikTok app now, which is really important to track data. And we're going to use that data to make um, critical decisions in which ads we're going to boost and so on. We're going to connect our business account. And it's going to make a pixel for us. We're going to connect that one. And we want to go for maximum data sharing. Confirm that with the TikTok pixel. That's important. Finish setup and we're all set now we're gonna generate the codes for running spark ads spark ads are essentially just boosted organic posts instead of ads floating around in the internet you have those ads uh, as organic posts this is how you generate the code just follow as i do this isn't possible on the computer i believe so i'm just doing it on the phone I'm going to copy the code and send it to yourself on your laptop or PC. Now we're going to connect the domain we bought. You can buy it on Namecheap or whatever you like best. It's going to verify the connection if you're using a third party domain. And don't worry about SSL pending, that's going to go away soon. Now we're going to add our payment options. It's really, really good to add a PayPal um, payment method because a lot of people like to buy online just with PayPal because they feel safer because PayPal can give um, 
them their money back easier if there are any problems. And when that's set up, you're gonna add Shopify payments or any other third party payment provider of your liking. You're gonna just fill out all the information and when that's done, we're gonna go to the next step, which is creating the ads. Always choose custom mode. We're gonna go for website conversions. Type in the campaign name, go to continue, just leave everything off. Then name your ad group. Select the pixel we created before. Optimization event, always complete payments. Select placement just for TikTok. We don't want these other apps. We're gonna set to gender to all, even though it's a female product because there may be boyfriends buying it for their girlfriend. Then set ages to all. Put $50 as a daily budget for the start. Um, from my experience, that works really well. $100 doesn't work that well. And you're gonna start it for the next day. So just set midnight for the next day. And optimization goal should be conversion, maximum delivery, that's all fine. And then we're gonna go to the next step, which is adding the ads. We're gonna select Spark Ads. And we're gonna paste in the codes that we just sent ourselves from the organic videos. Paste in that, confirm. Now it's not going to show up because we have to add it as a TikTok post first. Confirm. And then we're going to get our URL from our product page, not the home page, product page, really important. And we're going to add that in. Always preview, just to double check. Now we're going to duplicate it to about five ads, which is a good middle ground to start with. And edit all these duplicated ads and add in uh, the different organic posts. And when that's all done, we're just going to press on submit and we're all set. We just have to add our payment method, top up our account, and we're ready to go. Now we are want to add custom columns, which is really important to be able to read the data better. And I'm going to make a video about this um, soon, where I show how to scale with TikTok ads and how to read the data and make um, informed decisions. Just copy as I do. Select all these options in the same order. And when that's done, we're going to press on confirm. And the TikTok Ads Manager is all perfectly set up. As you can see, uh, we already have three sales and a ROAS of 2.35 because I recorded this part a bit later, but I'm gonna do a whole video about the performance of this product. And the ROAS we're gonna calculate on the spreadsheet that I'm gonna link below in the description. And essentially what that's doing is just calculating how much of a return on investment we need for our ads to be profitable. And in this case, we have a product cost of $20, which my supplier quoted for me. If you have orders uh, that are going through daily, then you can contact me on Instagram, which is linked down below, and I'm gonna hook you up with my supplier, which is really great. Uh, the customer support is great on WhatsApp. Uh, they always reply really quickly, and the app they have is really seamless and just works well, and the shipping time is also pretty decent. Now you can see that the sale price I set on $60, and the break even is of course $40 then. And we are gonna subtract the Shopify fees, which depend on which plan you choose, but the differences aren't really great. I chose the middle plan, which is $1 for three months, which is enough to see if this product is profitable or not. So as we can see, the 
and ROAS is 1.5, which is okay. And as long as we hit above that ROAS, we are profitable and below that ROAS, we're losing money. So we want to look on each ad after a few days, after two, three days, is it profitable or not? And based on the numbers, not the feeling, we're going to shut off the ads and um, just cycle in new ads. I hope I could bring you immense value with this video. I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel because there are a lot of very exciting, valuable videos that are going to come in the future. And all I'm asking from you is that you take action now. And if you have success with this, which I hope, um, to share this with others and um, help others along their way of their dropshipping journey.